And so nominal trauma is acute. Um, 60-year-old female C2 fracture 30 years ago, treated with a laminectomy. <laughs> I'd like to read that medical record. Not sure what the thinking was there, but uh, presents with pain and progressive uh, myelopathy. So this is what her um, CT looks like. And so you can kind of see um, it's a mix of some of the, the earlier cases um, where there's been uh, um, a C2 dissociation um, in, in the kind of a chronic uh, dense type fracture. And, and then lower down, we see some degenerative changes and uh, some spinal canal narrowing. And so this is what her, her MRI looked like. And so we have a couple of areas of, of issues um, and it depends on is she stable and what do we need to, to fix for this, this particular patient. And so um, we did a flexion extension to, to see if uh, she was, was stable. Um, and she actually was moving. Um, this was just a line um, on the back of C2. Um, and you can see from the difference between flexion and extension uh, that these lines change. So she's actually moving, banging on her spinal cord uh, higher up. So that, that's a problem. So every time that, and she did complain to that, like an electric shock um, running down uh, her, her body. So is there not neurologic injury? Yep. Um, do the neural elements need to be decompressed? Yes. Um, is the spine stable? No. We saw that an inflection extension and x-ray gives you a tremendous amount of injury. Or injury? I hope not. <laughs> it gives you a little bit of injury, not as much as a CAT scan. But um, it gives you a tremendous amount of, of information, um, sometimes more than a CT or MRI can show, because it's a, it's a dynamic study that actually shows um, the degree of motion that, that's happening there. Um, and can you brace it? Won't help in this case, it's a chronic injury. Um, and what do you do? Um, and so do the surgery uh, from the front and the back actually. Um, ACDF at that lower down uh, degenerative area and then uh, C1-2 uh, complete laminectomy infusion that's there. There's the anterior cervical discectomy infusion to get that lower down uh, area. And then this is just interop pictures uh, showing placement um, of the C1 um, uh, lower mass and the, the C2 screws as well in the parts. And so this um, uh, shows the, the x-ray and the completed x-ray for, for that patient to stabilize and, and decompress her. Hey everyone, Ryan Rad here from NeurosurgeryTraining.org. If you like that video, subscribe and donate to keep our content available for medical students across the world.